the dead do it most of their time? Watch the living, especially in the shower. I can't wait to die. And why are you watching me? Because you're the one who's going to help me get some changes made in that book you put so much stock in. Hustler? The Bible. What's your beef with the Bible? Well, for starters, I'm not in it. Well, neither are any of us. We don't hear us bitching and moaning. Yeah, but I'm supposed to be in it. I was the 13th apostle. <laughs> I've been going to church my whole life, and I've never heard of a 13th apostle named Rufus. <laughs> yeah, but you heard of the other 12 apostles. Yeah, all white boys, I might add, but no mention of me, Rufus. And why is that? Because I'm a black man. But you know what? That's just my pet peeve. I'm mainly here to correct a major error that you people have been basing the faith on. What's that? Jesus wasn't white. Jesus was black. I don't buy it. If that's true, then why did he get written about him? You were left out. Well, he is the son of God. Kind of hard to have a New Testament without him. So you fudge a few facts. You put a spin on his ethnicity. Leaving me out's OK, because you still got 12 white boys to choose from. Are you going to listen to this shit? You know, that's just what the good people at Antioch were saying, right before they stoned my ass. You were martyred? Well, that's one way of putting it. Another way is the sap was bludgeoned and shit by big fucking rocks. I mean, white folks only want to hear the good shit. Life eternal, a place in God's heaven. But as soon as you hear that you're getting this good shit from a black Jesus, you're freaked. And that, my friends, is called hypocrisy. A black man can steal your stereo, but he can't be your savior. You going to eat that hash brown? So, you went to heaven? You're damn right I went to heaven. Shit, that's the least he could do. You know, in the three years I followed his ass around Jerusalem, did I ever get laid? Hell no. And I was in my prime. I mean, I could have been knee-deep in Shepherd's Daughters, not to mention fine-ass Mary Magdalene. She had a thing for Dolphin if you followed me. Maybe this is just me talking, but if I were in heaven, I wouldn't care what the Bible said as long as they got the message right. The message is what counts. But folks who build their faith on that message should be colorblind. No, my rabble rousers is not doing that much above. So I'm going to need some help down here. That's why I'm going to help you stop those angels from getting to that church in exchange for you helping me with my campaign. How do you know about that? The angels? There isn't much I don't know about you. I find that hard to believe. Check this out. When you were five, you let a kid from next door piss in your hand. Ew, you did that shit? You nasty. I never told anybody about that. Neither did he. Two years later, that kid died of leukemia. His name was Brian Johnson. See, our exploits, no matter how inane, are well documented in heaven. Probably hell, too. Hey, where are you going? Yo, man, tell me something about me. You masturbate more than anyone on the planet. So oh, fuck. Everyone knows that. Tell me something nobody knows. When you do it, you're thinking about guys. Dude, not all the time. Sorry if I scared you. <laughs>